Hello my fellow Big Brother fans. It's very challenging talking about Trish because Trish has built a protective bulletproof wall around herself. She talks about racial stereotypes. She talks about being a feminist. She talks about being a strong woman. Once you say you're a strong woman, you are not a strong woman. She loves playing the victim. She loves using buzzwords PC buzzwords that mean nothing to real people in the real world. And her number one tactic is playing the victim. And it is working for her, but I'm not sure it can win her the show. Something very interesting happened in last night's highlight show. She went toe to toe with Jordan and she was handed her liver on a plate. It was a very, very interesting situation because Trish loves putting her, you know, her head in the parapet. She's defended a lot of people in that house. She's tried to be Atticus Finch from To Kill the Mockingbird and she's tried to be this big hero. And sometimes she's been in the right, sometimes she's been in the wrong, and sometimes it's how she's selling, you know, it's how she's selling what she's saying which is the problem with Trish. I have never thought you were aggressive, Trish. I never thought you were an aggressive black woman, Trish. It's not about that. They're the buzzwords you're using to protect yourself so no one can come at you. And a lot of people from your ideology do this a lot. So she goes up to Jordan and pretty much in an understated way accuses him of talking out of school with Chanel which Jordan denies and says, listen, I've got the autonomy to talk like that with Chanel, but it, I didn't do it. And please don't come in my face. Now Trish apologized straight away. Now this was a very, very interesting situation because Trish never admits she's wrong. She plays the victim in a heated debate and tries to get the public on her side and the people in, in the house to feel bad. So they can't come at her. So this was interesting because there's no question, Wright was on Jordan's side. Jordan was intelligent enough to deal with her in a non-aggressive manner. And she apologized straight away. In fact, 10 minutes later, they were laying on the bed together with, you know, her, she had her arms around him and it was all friends together again. I wonder what Jordan truly thinks of her. I mean, Jordan and Jordan and Henry and Matty have used her as a sounding board. So I don't think they dislike the woman but it was a very, very interesting situation. And I think this is the moment where I think, you know, that could have lost her Big Brother 2023. But for Jordan, we all saw what he's made of. I already knew what this guy was made of. He's very, very strong. In terms of Matty coming after him over, you know, being ghosted all the time, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Jordan is trying to protect himself. He does, doesn't want to rub Henry's nose in it, and he doesn't want a relationship in the house. And Matty, you've got a boyfriend you were bawling about not seeing a couple of days ago. As I said before, make it make sense. Let's move on to Luscious Liv. Olivia, this is a very, very clever, nefarious, tactical young woman. Did you see the bullshit she was running with Trish, the way she padded her ego and said, I've always looked up to you and I'm an Oxford graduate. Yeah, right. But she was padding Trish's ego because she knows Trish has a huge ego and she likes to be admired by other women. Doesn't really care what men think of her. I don't think she's a big fan of, let's say, straight men but I think she's a fan of other women and other younger women looking up to her. So Olivia is up for eviction against Trish. So all of a sudden, she's playing nice. She's pretending like the idea to segregate the house had nothing to do with her when Olivia and Paul actually absolutely segregated the house via their antics in the bedroom till three in the morning when they could have had their stupid pillow fights in the bloody lounge, but they purposely made people's, interrupted people's sleep and made people's nightlife 
a living hell. No, Paul, it ain't a Club 1830 holiday. And if people want to go to bed at 9.30, 10 o'clock, they should be able to. For example, Kerry has a multitude of medical conditions. And, you know, you could tell that the woman was suffering with a lot of anxiety and you made it worse. I'm not saying I don't like Paul. A uh, young guy wanted to have a laugh with an attractive um, young woman in Liv. But at the end of the day, it's not the way you conduct yourself. And when Liv gave Dylan the finger for being angry about this, it was ridiculous. Um, I think Olivia and Chanel will go tonight. But I think that situation between Jordan and Trish has made things very, very interesting. Is it at all plausible for Trish to be evicted tonight? I think there's an outside bet of her going. A vote to evict, as we've discussed many times, is a vote for hatred. That's the difference between vote to save and vote to evict. There will be enough people that dislike Trish, even though she's very popular on the outside. I think people will be split on Trish. But one last thing, Trish and Noki were padding their own egos in that podcast, calling themselves strong women and how apparently people don't like strong black women. I love strong women. I love weak women. Some women are not strong because that's their personality and that's OK. And some women are strong. I don't think you're a strong woman because you're in the big brother house and you raise your voice a little bit. I think you're a strong woman if you raise three children on a pittance. I think you're a strong woman if you were raped and you had to live with that and you're living your life with empathy and compassion. I think you're a strong woman if you were abused as a young girl and are living with that every day. That's what a strong woman is, not Trish and not Miss Beauty School Dropout. Knock it. So let's not get it twisted. I'm not saying they're weak women. Trish clearly is a woman with self-confidence, but that don't make her strong and it doesn't make her brave. I will react to tonight's eviction, same time, same place, same bat channel, tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm buzzing for tonight. See you again soon.